What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it so the title of this or the subject is DoorDash is scamming so of course when I see that I'm like what are they doing now so everyone say thank you to Christopher for telling us about this seriously say thank you in the chat over here or in the comments say thank you Christopher See, I knew you didn't do it. So he says, uh, hey, Pete, I'm a dasher and I've been and I have watched others post in our local market about how slow DoorDash has become. While I don't dash as often as I used to due to poor health, I still support our drivers by ordering through DoorDash. Most orders arrive flawless and aren't accurate. I never blame the driver for inaccurate orders since COVID. I ordered a barbecue dinner the other night consisting of ribs, bologna, and brisket. Never heard of that. Bologna and brisket, but I don't know. Uh, when the driver left my order at the door, I thought the bag looked awful small to contain my meal. I was right. Inside was a chopped beef sandwich. Nothing else. I looked at the receipt on the sealed bag to ensure that the driver didn't mistakenly drop off the wrong bag. My receipt was stapled to the bag showing the meal I had paid for. So I opened my app and began to chat with a customer service agent. I explained my situation and told the agent that I didn't blame the driver or DoorDash since the bag was sealed and the right receipt was uh, stapled to it. Uh, let's see here. Here, take this real quick. Sorry. Um, here, is what, here is where DoorDash began their scam. They offered me a refund and that was the only option that I chose. But when she told me the total refund amount, it was lower than what I paid. When I questioned her, she told me that they do not refund delivery fees or taxes. This is the first I've heard of this. So I said, what? She was very insistent that they didn't. And you can see by the attached chat screenshots, she was not willing to budge. That is until I became insistent. It took me 35 minutes to get them to refund it. And I was still not refunded for the full amount. So I was persistent and got a full refund. No matter how hard we as drivers try to provide our customers with exceptional customer service, DoorDash does this to, he says, to Lisa them off. How, how many refund, how many refunds, well, excuse me, how many refunds does DoorDash process each day? I'm sure it's a huge amount and how many customers don't catch this scam? I forward this information to a law firm that handles class action lawsuits and have spoken to their firm in length today and it may be taken on by their firm. Now here's something else DoorDash did. They dinged the driver with a missing item slash order. The driver came back as I would to question me. Uh, I explained to the driver what had happened and I sent him a statement to give DoorDash what had happened. We exchanged numbers and the next day, guess what? He got a deactivation email. He texted me and I work. I was working with him to get him reactivated, but DoorDash refuses to listen. Sadly, this driver is not winning his case. He told me this is the first non-delivered email he has ever received and they'll deact and they deactivated him for the store's error. I'm guessing they stapled the wrong receipt to the wrong bag. The store has even admitted fault and has contacted DoorDash to get this driver reinstated. As of today, he is still deactivated and I am appalled at DoorDash's blatant scam and deactivation of this driver. No wonder it has gotten slow. Customers are not standing for this poor service and scams. I'm in the Tulsa, Oklahoma market. And then, yeah, he shows like the conversation with the support team and everything. Like, I mean, you, you can't again, you can't make this stuff up. So I love how this was a two-parter here. It, it's a DoorDash driver who doesn't dash that much anymore, who still wants to support DoorDash and drivers, orders the food, gets the wrong order, reports it's the wrong order, and then the driver gets deactivated and it wasn't the driver's fault. It was the right receipt on the wrong bag. You tell me how that's fair. Again, these companies could care less 
if you, uh, you know, get deactivated because if you get deactivated, 10 more people will take your place. And that's just the way of the world, man. And I'm here to let you guys know about this stuff going on because, again, you need to be aware of this stuff. Always make sure when you are picking up orders, don't just grab the bag. You know, just always ask, is everything in there? Yes. Check if there's drinks. Are there drinks? Yes or no. Whenever I go into a restaurant, I always ask about drinks and I always say, is everything there? Unless they're like extremely busy for whatever reason, you know, always, always, always double check that you're sending the right stuff because on Grubhub, you don't have to deal with these deactivations like this, but DoorDash, because they have that rating system. It can be manipulated. And look at this crap. They didn't even want to give a full refund. That's a huge problem in my book. So drivers, what do you guys think? Let me know in the chat over here or in the comments section down below. What are your thoughts on this? How, do you think that this driver handled this correctly? How do you feel about the driver being deact wrongfully deactivated? Let me know down below because this is absolutely ridiculous in every, in every way. <sighs> It just makes me so mad. It really does. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says get the free gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know. You enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L I K E D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and paid to drive logs. And as always drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.